Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. In this video, we will discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 302. It's a hard level problem, but to be very honest, I would say this was the easiest hard problem that I have seen in all the lead code contests and that can be seen by the acceptance uh, ratio as well on the right side, right? Uh, users accepted. Now, right now the contest is still going on, but we can see that we already have more than uh, 4.5k uh, users uh, who have submitted this solution uh, successfully so i would say pretty easy problem if i would have to rate it then this 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 question could have been i would say somewhere uh, between the second and the third question not at all a hard question to be very honest but again let's look into the logic if this logic is new for you like for example calculating the gcd and all then obviously this could be uh, a new learning for you so let's look into the problem statement so the, the problem name is minimum deletions to make array divisible. You are given two positive integer arrays, nums and nums divide. You can delete any number of elements from nums. Okay. Return the minimum number of deletions such that the smallest element in nums divides all the elements of nums divide. If this is not possible, return minus one. Note that integer x divides y if y mod x equals equals zero. Right. Uh, let's look into the example. That is already self-explanatory. I would say. You have two num two integers there in nums and nums divide, right? Now you can delete some numbers from nums. Okay, okay, you can delete some numbers from nums so that the smallest number that is present in nums divide all the elements in nums dot divide, right? Now let, let's look what we will do. Suppose you you pick the smallest number from nums. Right now that is two, right? Now is two dividing all the numbers on, in nums of divide? No, that is not dividing because 9 divided by 2 will will basically 9 is not divisible by 2 right so that means we need to do one deletion remove 2 now in nums we have another 2 right at index number 2 you again pick that 2 again that will not be able to divide so our new nums will become 3 4 3 and we have done two deletions now what is the smallest number 3 in 3 4 3 that is 3 pick up 3 is 3 able to divide all the numbers in nums divide yes it is it is able to divide so that means we, we did two deletions and the the, the algorithm was uh, successfully doing the things that were asked okay let's look into the second example now the second example is 4 3 and 6 and nums divide is 8 2 6 6 and 10 now just see the smallest number in nums is 3 is 3 able to divide all, all the numbers in nums to divide no that is not able to do let's delete 3 now what is the smallest number it's 4 is 4 able to do all the things no that is not able to do now the only remaining element in nums is 6 is 6 capable enough of dividing all the numbers in nums of divide no that is not able to do so that means we return minus 1 correct right? um, so um, again this is um, if if you have uh, i would say done decent practice of gcd and all uh, so probably this would be a cakewalk for you because what we are doing if you if you just see we just need to see the smallest value in nums right now uh, just let's let me take you through an example probably that will be that will be easier to understand for you right suppose we have certain numbers 9 3 6 and 15 right suppose these are the four numbers now i need to find a number i need to find a number that divides all these numbers that divides all these numbers right what will be that particular number what will be that particular number don't you think that will be gcd of this these all these numbers greatest common divisor or hcf whatever you call it right highest common factor whatever you call it right so this will be this will be gcd will be the number that will divide all these numbers now uh, how you calculate the gcd and all that's a totally different thing why because 9 can be represented in the form of 3 cross 3 3 can be represented in the form of 3 cross 1 6 can be represented in form of 3 cross 2 15 can be represented as 3 cross 5 basically in the form of prime numbers that is the basic explanation now what do you do you pick up 3 that is common here right you pick up 3 that is common here now again why because <laughs> 3 is present in all of them so that means 3 3 is capable of dividing all of them right so that is why 3 will be gcd of these numbers let's take another example let's take 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 comma 4 let's take it now 2 can be represented as 2 comma 1, 3 can be represented as 3 comma 1, 4 can be represented as 2 comma 2, 2 comma 2 into 2 comma 1, right? Now just, just what is the common number in all of them? Here we have 2, here we have 3, but here we don't have 2. The only common number is 1 here, 
right the only common number is one year right so that's why the gcd in this case will be the gcd in case will be one right so this is the main crux now all you need to do all you need to do is all you need to do is this that you have a num you have a number you you have a list of numbers right now if you want to find the gcd if you want to find the gcd just calculate gcd of this num these two numbers suppose it comes out to be x now calculate the gcd of x and this number suppose it comes out to be y calculate the gcd of y comma this so basically to calculate the gcd of all the numbers you pick up two numbers find the gcd now find the g keep on finding the gcd of this number and the gcd that you find till now find the gcd of the next number and the gcd that you have found till now and finally you get the gcd of all the numbers present in the array which will represent that okay this is the number that is capable enough of dividing all the numbers right that is the main crux now now we have a num we have an integer array nums as well which says that the smallest number should be capable enough of dividing all the numbers so in short in short the smallest number should be capable of dividing the gcd right gcd like for example 9 3 Six and fifteen. We saw that the GCD is three, right? GCD is three. So that means a number, a number will be able to divide all these numbers if it is able to divide three, right? So that means if we have a three here, right? If we have a three here, if we have a two here, so obviously two will not be able to divide three. However, three will be able to divide three. So what we'll do? We'll we'll pick the smallest number two. Two is not able to divide. Just delete it. Pick up three. Three is three able to divide? Yes. So we have done one deletion and we return our answer. Let's come to the code. Let's come to the code because that that was the main logic. Uh, from line number eleven, we have started. We have calculated the length, and then we have uh, we have initialized the GCD value uh, with the first value of nums divide. Now now what we do in on line number thirteen and fourteen. we calculate the gcd of the whole array nums of divide right so as explained gcd will be array gcd that means the gcd that we have seen till now and the G and the current number right and on line number 3 to 7 we have calculated the gcd it's a standard algorithm how you calculate the gcd now you finally have the gcd of the complete array on line number 16 we have sorted the nums we have sorted the nums array because we need to find the smallest number because since we need to test for the smallest number right if the, is is that capable enough of dividing or not or else we'll keep on deleting the number so uh, on line number 17 deletion equals to 0 traver start traversing the array check that is is this current number capable of dividing the G, uh, array gcd if that is not delete this number if this is capable enough of dividing it just break the loop now if deletion equals equals nums of length deletion will tell how many numbers you have deleted how many numbers were not capable of doing this thing dividing the all the numbers of nums of divide if that is equals to nums of length that means no number was present and, and we uh, return minus 1 else we return the number of deletions that we have done in the original array right because as soon as we find a number since the number is in sorted format as soon as we find a number we just break the loop right so we are doing it with the smallest number so yeah that's it for the solution uh, i i i hope you learn something new from this video please do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel also if you have any queries do mention that in the comments i'll i'll try to resolve it um, as soon as possible okay yeah take care bye bye